Will cross training make you a faster cyclist? To answer that question, I've come to the perfect place. Utah, this mythical place my parents have always mentioned to me. The mountains are higher and the air is thinner. I grew up skiing in New Hampshire and everyone may ask, why didn't you just ski in New Hampshire? Surely that's good enough cross training. Well, to answer that question, I actually did ski in New Hampshire. Skiing and snowboarding with Joe Beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Joe Beef, you made this snow right here. I made this snow right here with guns like that. Uh, yeah, took a lot of water, a lot of air. After skiing and snowboarding with Joe Beef, Northern New Hampshire's most beloved comedian and snowmaker, you can see how the snow in New Hampshire is. Now, here's the snow in Utah. Oh my God. <laughs> Skiing way too fast here, but oh well. I had to go west for some of this, and this, and even a bit of this. Now that's a moose. While everything is beautiful and it takes your breath away both literally and metaphorically, when skiing at the elevation of most light aircraft, it takes more perceived effort. This is where the fun begins. Just when you're at altitude, you just gotta keep breathing in. That's how it's done. Pro tip to anyone, you wanna take these like little double lifts because yes, they look old and slow and all that, but you spend less time in line. Uh, and you have less wind chill because the lift isn't going as fast. So I think you honestly show off at the top of the lift at the same amount of time. So yeah, just take these. Even as someone who strictly follows a vegan diet, there's only so much efficiency that the cells of the human body can have when making their ATP with less available oxygen. So a lot of people may be asking at this point, you know, what's the point of all this? What does this have to do with road cycling? A little powdery. I'm at 11,000. Well, all this is to say that when someone gets back on a road bike after doing all this stuff in a place that maybe isn't at this sort of elevation, they're going to just be like a beast, right? So because like the oxygen that they're able to take in is much more abundant. So if they're going up a hill or something after having to push themselves around on ski poles and that sort of thing, they're just going to kill it basically. The only right way to end this video is with the T-Bar in New Hampshire. Love the T-Bar. It would have been nice to have the happy ending with T-Bar, but the connecting flight back to New England got canceled. So I ended up sitting in a car for 28 hours with my parents and my brother uh, to get back to New England from Colorado where the connecting flight was supposed to be. So... <laughs> Unfortunately, Southwest did not get me the rest of the way to this T-bar, but we made it nonetheless.